Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? A lawyer is an honest employment, so is Mike. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity, both against those and for them. For tis but fitting that we should protect and encourage cheats, since we live by them. Sir, black and all that sick word of trial comes on in the afternoon. And she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. No lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what it would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. Tom Gag. 40 pounds. I already have. I know I'll save her from the transportation. Well, I can get more by her staying in. Betty have brought more goods into our lock to year than any five of the gang. And in truth, Oof. it's a pity to lose going to get the hell out of here. A thousand pardons. If none of the uh, my apologies. You make in the common course of business, live at 12 months longer. I love to let women escape. A good sportsman always lets the end of march of his life, because the breed of game depends on it. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There is nothing to be got by the death of women, except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fine woman, because to her I was obliged to my education. And to say a bold word, she has trained up more young fellows to the business than the gaming table. Truly built, thy observation is right. We and the surgeons are more beholden to women than all the professions beside. So, that wall, that second word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll with the evidence. Oh, okay, sir, he's found guilty. No lazy dog. When I took the time before, I told him.
Just causing this bit. I make taste and you get boy. And your friends know where I intend. Well, I love to make them easy one way or other. When a gentleman is long kept in suspense, penitence may break his spirit ever after. Besides, certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or strength. to make them easy one way or other. When a gentleman is long kept in suspense, penitence may break his spirit ever after. Besides, certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But all the way, but it's a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort to friends in affliction. But it is now my time to look about me for a decent execution. Forget the next session. <laughs> by whom one can get nothing till he's hanged. A register of the gang. Crook-fingered Jack. Huh. A year and a half in the service. I've Let me got see how much he's proposed to you. Dodge courage will put a bloom in your cheek. One, two, three, four, five gold watches. And seven silver ones. A mighty clean danded fellow. Sixteen snuff boxes. Five of them true gold. Six dozen of handkerchiefs, four silver elf and so half a dozen of shirts, three tie periwigs, and a piece of broadcloth. Considering these are only the fruits of his leisure hours, I don't know a prettier fellow. But no man alive hath a more engaging presence of mind upon the road. What a dreary alias Brown Will. An irregular dog, who has an underhanded way of disposing of his goods. I'll try him only for a session for too longer upon his good behaviour. Harry Paddington, a poor petty larceny rascal, without the least genius. That fellow, though he were to live these six months, will never come to the gallows to his credit. Slippery Sam, he goes up next session. Well, the Jeremy villain has to give me the burning of the boards. Following his train as a tailor, which he calls them honest employment by some of the garrison officers. Matt of the Mint, be astounded how listed not above a month ago. A promising, sturdy fellow and diligent in his way. Somewhat too bold and hasty, and may raise good contributions upon the public if he does not cut himself short by murder. Tom Tipple. A dozen soaking socks. Who's always too drunk to stand himself or to make others stand? A cot is absolutely necessary for him. Robin a bag shot, alias Gorgon, alias Bluff Bob, alias Carbuncle, alias Bob Booty. What of Bob Booty has been? I hope nothing bad has betided him. You know, my dear, he's a favourite customer of mine. Proceed, make me a present of this ring. I've set his name down in the blacklist. That's all, my dear. He spends his life among women. Hey, Ethel. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Seize him! The man 
was killed in the upper but, balcony. But I, I, I've done no wrong. I swear. Search him. Any weapons? Strange to you. We rushed to get it up on Tuesday. Oh, my. Nothing. Oh, I beg your pardon. Now, no, push it, please. Please, please. please. Let us go. 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 Those men doing it there. Move! Move! Peace, friends, there is no danger. Hey. Where are you going? And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen, how fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all.
and then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet, here you are. To hell with the captain! And to hell with you, Mills! Who signed you on anyway? We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> How do you like these odds? Mr. Kenway. These four... We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn job?